Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, also known as HCM, is the most common inherited heart disease. This October, during Family History Month, it's important to highlight the role of genetics in HCM and why it's critical to know your family medical history. So joining us to share more is Gwen Mays, a patient advocate, and Dr. Lee Ben Wang. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Doctor, let's start with you. What exactly is HCM and what role do genetics play in the condition? Thank you. Great to be here. HCM stands for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. As you mentioned, it is the most commonly inherited heart condition affecting one in 200 to one in 500 people. We now know more than 1400 gene mutations can cause this and it is inherited in the family. Gene mutations cause heart muscle to thicken, but it doesn't relax well. That cause blood flow to be hindered, both inflow and outflow the heart. So that cause symptoms as such as shortness of breath, chest pain, heart racing, palpitation, fainting spells, and even syncope and completely passed out. Some people suffer sudden cardiac death from it. So it is really important to recognize the condition recognize the condition early and know the family history. Well, let's touch on family history with you, Gwen. Did you have a family history of this? And also, can you just tell us a little bit about your journey? Absolutely, yes. There was a family history, unfortunately, of sudden cardiac death on my mother's side of the family. Mm -hmm. She, when she was in high school, found her father deceased dead on the bathroom floor when she was going to high school one morning. And she'd run up hearing him talk about finding his uncle deceased. Wow. But this was a long time ago and less was known about the family history. I had a murmur at birth. I actually had some of the symptoms Dr. Wang talked about, uh, shortness of breath, palpitations, fatigue, even in the sixth grade, I remember, out on the playground. And as I aged, though, these symptoms were sort of erratic. They would come and go. I was accurately diagnosed in my early 30s when I had a pretty severe episode riding a metro when it felt like a horse was pounding the inside of my chest and I was just clammy and was short of breath. So I was accurately diagnosed at that time and I have been genetic tested. So it's very important that uh, anyone at any age really who has these symptoms understands that it could be HCM. What should someone do if they have a family member who is diagnosed with HCM? Yeah, they should really go ahead and talk to their health care providers, their doctors, preferably a cardiologist, and talk about the family history and to go over their symptoms there themselves and let the doctor do a good physical exam on you, especially the cardiac exam, but to see whether you have a murmur, as Ms. Mays just mentioned, uh, or you know you have any um, other physical uh, findings. And you know, if further cardiac testing is needed, we should go ahead and get it. If somebody has been tested genetically positive in the family, we may consider genetic testing for this specific individual. Okay. And Gwen, let's go back to you. How has life been since your diagnosis and how has this disease affected you? Well, I was, I was diagnosed over half my lifetime ago and it had a pretty profound impact. I kept quiet for many years. I was advised not to have children. Oh, wow. But I've been well maintained and today I live a relatively normal life. The most important thing for me as a patient advocate, along with Dr. Wang and working in collaboration with Bristol Myers Squibb is to make sure for those people who just maybe are brushing off their symptoms, maybe they just think they've had a bad day or worked in the garden or took the bike ride too long. If mm -hmm. this persists for no unknown reason, it could be HCM. So we really ask people to just be really aware and to talk to their family if they consider this as a possibility. They might even want to check out a website. Could it be hcm.com? In layman terms, it's really easy to read, not to scare you, but it'll help you understand how this possibly could be a condition you want to look into. Thank you so much for that. And before we go, Gwen, can you just touch on uh, maybe some advice or suggestions for someone who maybe was just diagnosed or they are living with HCM? Well, if they've just been diagnosed, it can be overwhelming. It is a lifetime condition. And sometimes families have an awkward guilt feeling about them because it is inheritable. But I will say, and I'm living proof of it, that you can actually live a very good life for a very long time and to remain positive and find other patient support systems. But more importantly, 
even to keep care and to keep up with your, your practitioners and your doctors so that you can live the life that you want. Well, thank you both so much for joining me today to talk about this. And I'm glad you're doing well, Gwen. Thank you so much. We're delighted to be here. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.